This is the situation you might find yourself in. You have ground coffee, but nothing to make it in. I'm Joe with Joe Picks Joe. In this video, I'm gonna show you the ultimate way after many, many attempts at testing different methods, the ultimate way for making coffee without a coffee machine or a filter. In other words, we're gonna be using ground coffee, very similar to as how we would use instant coffee. But before we get into it, if you're new here, I talk all about brewing and drinking of coffee. If that's something that interests you, I'd scroll down and hit that subscribe button and I post new videos every week. Okay, let's get into it. So if you find yourself in this situation where you have coffee, but you don't have anything to make it, say your, your coffee maker uh, broke down or you're at somewhere outdoors where you don't have a coffee maker or you don't have power uh, for your coffee maker. Uh, let's talk about a couple of options. Uh, now these first two options, uh, you have to have a little bit of preparation, but I think it's worth uh, pointing them out. Uh, option number one is just frankly use an instant coffee. Uh, this kind here is Alpine Start, and if I can find it, I don't know where I got it from, uh, but if I can find it online, I'll link it down below. Uh, so that's one option is just frankly use an instant coffee where all you need is hot water and the actual instant coffee mix, put it in, stir it around, and you're good to, do, good to go. But you can't do that with ground coffee. Now, option number two is using uh, some, a coffee maker uh, that doesn't require any sort of power, if power is uh, one of the issues, like say you're outside camping or something like that. Uh, you can either use a French press, and I'll link down below to one that I recommend, or you can use an AeroPress. And uh, let me go get it. And this is the AeroPress. Um, there's a few missing parts like the funnel and uh, the filter and stuff like that. But this is generally the main body of an AeroPress where you put in your ground coffee here and then you put in water and you squeeze this down. Uh, this doesn't require any power and it's very popular uh, for people taking it, like it's very, very compact too. It's not, not that large. Very good for taking camping and so on. So I did two videos uh, so far about the AeroPress. So there's a lot more coming, uh, but I'll put one at the card somewhere up top here and link down below where I actually unbox this and use this for the first time. So if this is, some, is something that interests you, um, then certainly go down and take a look at this. But like I said, those two options have uh, you need some sort of preparation, like you need to go out and buy the instant coffee, or you need to go buy that French press or that AeroPress. Uh, but what if you're at home um, or at the office, wherever you are, and you have the ground coffee and you have you, you have to have that coffee now? We have two options. Option one, uh, you could uh, put your ground coffee in like a makeshift filter. Like, sort of like one of the go-to ones is a stri strictly a, a paper towel. Uh, you put the paper towel on top of the mug you put your ground coffee on top of the uh, paper towel and you run your hot water through it. So that's one option. Option two is to put hot water in, uh, in a mug, put your ground coffee in, and then uh, filter out um, the grounds out of, that, uh, out of that water. I found, and I've experimented with both ways, not because, but in preparation for this video. Uh, and what I found was the latter option was far, far, far superior. What I found was two issues when, so you might find other videos that talk about this, like using uh, the paper towel, putting your grounds in here and then running the hot water through. There, there's two issues with that. What I found anyway, the way I was doing it, results may vary, but uh, what I found was that when I put the ground coffee in and when I just simply ran the water through, uh, the water went through very, very slowly. So this acts as a good filter, but maybe too good of a filter where I just, it would take me, like I didn't even last the whole mug. Uh, it would have taken me like, I don't know, 10 minutes to, to run that water through. Uh, maybe it's because I was sort of like double plying this. Maybe if I just, um, if I just sort of one plied it and unfolded it and put it in. Uh, but it's really tricky to kind of hold the ground coffee there. Uh, anyways, the second issue is that I found the coffee was just really, really weak after uh, the water went through. Uh, so that's not an option I recommend. So I recommend the latter option of actually putting hot water in here, putting your ground coffee in, letting it steep, and then transferring it over to another mug uh, while filtering out the coffee grounds. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna break it down step by step. And I know that was a long intro and hopefully you're still with me here, but we're gonna go through it now. Uh, step one is to get that uh, water hot. And you have two options for that. You could use just a straight up kettle or you can use the microwave. For uh, purposes of this, I'm just gonna use a straight up kettle. Uh, what you wanna do is uh, warm your water up to about 200 degrees. Um, and this is at 
203 degrees and yeah, that's close enough. So what I'm gonna do is pour my water into the mug. Then step two is putting the ground coffee in there. Uh, so this isn't really ideal. I have some uh, ground coffee here. Um, some of it is a little bit coarse. It didn't really grind uh, all that evenly. I gotta get a better grinder. Uh, but if you have like a medium grind, then that'll work perfect for this. Any sort of grind will actually work well with this. But I think medium grind is gonna be your best bet. And thankfully most coffee, if it's pre-ground, it does come already on medium ground. So you don't really have to worry about that. So take about, um, take about a tablespoon and uh, put it right into your coffee. I'm gonna put a little bit extra. And now you just stir it around. So you can see here, you're really gonna need to stir it around. So it's just gonna be sitting at the top. So yeah, this isn't, I mean, I shouldn't have been using the tablespoon. I should use a spoon, not ideal, but whatever. Get coat all of those or get all of those uh, grounds in there. Okay. Now we want to let it sit in the coffee mug for about 60 to 90 seconds or so. Uh, if you want it a little bit stronger, you can push it maybe to about two or sorry, um, yeah, two or three minutes. Uh, do not go anywhere, don't go above three minutes because generally with the French press, you let it steep in the water, the grounds and the water, you let it steep for about four minutes. Uh, and, but that's with using a different ground. This, that's with using a coarse ground. If you let it start steeping over three minutes and start getting to the four or five uh, minute range, uh, it's gonna become, you get over extraction uh, of the actual beans and it's gonna start tasting really, really bitter. And it's gonna be basically a ruined cup of coffee. Okay, so it's been about 60, 90 seconds, uh, maybe a little bit closer to 90 seconds. And as you could see here, uh, the coffee, the grounds are still in there and they haven't dissolved. So uh, ground coffee is not processed the same way as instant coffee. If this was instant, it'd be like instantly dissolved. But ground coffee, it just sits there. Uh, so if you were to drink this now, that would be like drinking, oh, I didn't even imagine, it'd be chewing on the coffee beans, it'd be disgusting. Uh, so the big, big thing, the big trick here is to get, or the big challenge is to get rid of those coffee grounds. So that is, um, the next step in the big challenge that we have. And we have uh, two options. Like I said, you have possibly the option of using that paper towel, but I found this was just way too slow and I don't recommend that. If you're in a pinch, if this is all you have, then, then use the paper towel. But if you have anything else, um, I certainly do recommend uh, something like this strainer. And that's this is what I'm gonna be using. This is just a basic strainer. I think we got this from like the dollar store or something. Um, I don't even know what it's for. I think my son plays with it often. Uh, I cleaned it, uh, but um, this is what we're gonna use. Another option that you could use if you're into tea is uh, this tea, I don't even know what it's called, but it's from David's Tea. Um, it's another strainer that uh, you put the, um, the tea leaves in there and you put that in the cup and let it steep and then you just remove this. Uh, but this is another option that's more, more made for tea, but it can also be used for coffee. Uh, you're less likely to have this, more likely to have a little strainer. Even if it's a big strainer, it might look a little comical. Um, put it on a, on a mug, but any sort of strainer that will stop those coffee grinds from going through. So what I'm going to be doing now is just trans simply transferring the coffee from one mug to the other. Now this is going to be really tricky uh, because obviously this is very, very hot water. And I'm going to try my best not to burn myself on camera. I'm probably going to burn myself a little bit, but hopefully not too much. Uh, but I am so yeah, be really careful of that and of course I'm using mason jars to like better like show you what's going on in the coffee uh, so it doesn't have any um, Any handles so I'm gonna be actually using a paper towel All right, let's see how I can do this Good. All right, so as you saw there, I didn't burn myself, thankfully. Uh, that would have been a little embarrassing. Uh, but it, this, um, ooh, it's a little leaky still. Yeah, but this strainer did an excellent job at capturing all of those coffee grounds. And in the mug that I transferred it to, I looked through 
and I don't see any coffee grounds whatsoever. So it did a great job. So let me, last thing to do is to um, give it a taste. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, that's good. So that was making coffee without a coffee maker or a filter, or in other words, using ground coffee as much as you can as, as you would instant coffee. And again, if you're new here, I'm Joe with Joe Picks Joe. If this type of uh, content interests you in terms of um, brewing and tasting coffee, scroll down, hit that subscribe button. A like would be incredible if it helped you out. Comment down below, please let me know uh, what was the circumstance that you found yourself in that you had to brew coffee and you didn't have any sort of machine. I would love to know. I, I respond to as many comments as possible.